history's most successful criminals will never go down in history. They can still be famous as the center of a whodunit. If you stole the Mona Lisa and got away with it, you'd one of the most famous criminals in history, just not by name. Like Jack the Ripper. Except Jack the Ripper and other such criminals who were known to exist but were never identified. If a criminal is successful enough they can commit their crimes right out in the open without anyone doing shit about it. There's a similar line in Mind Hunter, where one guy is talking about how great their profiling system for catching serial killers is. And an incarcerated killer tells him something like, but it's only based on ones you've caught. Of course they will, they just won't go down in history as a criminal. Maybe a famous politician, general, businessman, there's a lot of possibilities here. Criminals don't go to prison because of the crimes they committed. They go to prison because they get caught. There were emperors, kings, generals who committed much worse crimes than regular criminals and never been thought as one. They will go down in history, but as politicians and celebrities not as criminals. An estimated $300 billion goes missing from the US economy annually. Of that only $3 billion is even reported. I like to think that the rest ends up in a Scrooge McDuck-style money vault hidden under some very skilled grifter's barn and that one day he'll die and his grandkids will find it. I mean I'd agree, but what about famous monsters like Capone, or western outlaws like Billy the Kid, scam artists like Ponzi? Some criminals are less famous because of the crimes they commit than the legends that are told about them. A number of folks will stand hour for their crimes time hasn't passed on them yet but for example I bet Bernie Madoff will still be talked about for a very long time. The really successful ones have the power to have their crimes declared legal. A good criminal may get away with a crime, but a great criminal will never need to commit one. A. Not entirely true. Their crimes can still go down in history while the world only knows their media-given or self-proclaimed moniker, i.e. D.B. Cooper, Jack the Ripper, etc. So, their acts can be forever remembered while their identity remains unknown, but they'll spend the remainder of their lives basking in their secret. Listen. You don't have to be rich or a goddamn politician. Someone who keeps their head down, mouth shut and the less people around you at the time the better. The person who does everything in plain sight and goes on their way like nothing. It's like the scene in Godfather where Michael kills that guy in the restaurant. No one would remember anything in regards to the man who just murdered a man in front of them partly due to shock, but also how quick it happened and and he didn't stand around after. In, out. Everyone else is panicking trying to get the hell out. Same logic applies. Give me a time machine and I'll go down on history. You want Caesar dressing, I want Caesar's bussy. We are not the same. Pretty sure historians keep track of all members of Congress. They call me the mattress tag ripper and they'll never catch me. There's an issue of Astro City where a criminal pulls off the biggest heist ever but it drives him crazy that no one knows he did it. So he has to brag and is happily caught because of his ego. Sure they will. Many have been captains of industry, presidents and autocrats, and celebrities. Meh, look up Carl Gugasian, he robbed more banks than anyone in USA history, like 75 banks over decades. Sometimes the entity becomes a nation. I can't think of a country that hasn't done some criminal shit. If you're a famous criminal, you're not really good at it. My dad taught in a prison for a while. Apparently one day one of the prisoners asked if he was scared working with criminals. He replied why would I be scared about you? You lot are the ones that got caught I'm scared about the ones out there. Believe it or not a lot of criminals love talking about what they did. Whether it be out of guilt or pride, nearly 90 of suspects confess to their crime and get sentenced. It's very difficult to get away with that nowadays, there are so many tools and gadgets to catch you that getting away with a crime now is nearly unthinkable. Depends on the crime. The Zodiac Killer was very famous and successful but just was never caught. I feel like if you replaced criminal with thief then it would be more accurate. 
actually they are all well known. The richest and most powerful are the biggest criminals. Not necessarily. Some do get stopped one way or another, but are still historically famous. Some also don't get found out until after they've died, like that one English bastard that had all of his honors and accolades revoked posthumously they even ripped out his tombstone, and left the grave unmarked. They did everything short of pull him out of the ground and piss on him but you can't argue that he didn't make history. Isn't this similar to we probably don't know who the actual richest person on earth is because they are hiding doing super illegal shit or whatever? Oh they will. Just not as criminals. They'll be known as business tycoons, billionaires and political leaders. This is also true with wealth. All the list of wealthiest people often don't include members of, for example, the Saudi royal family that could probably buy and sell Elon and Bezos' net worth multiple times over. Not to mention people like Vladimir Putin who essentially has the entire Russian's government wealth as his own in a way. A lot of the wealthiest either hide it or it's all sort of unofficial. Or in parts of the world where they don't keep records the same way or don't share them. Depending on your definition of criminal, Donald Trump is one of the most successful criminals in human history and will definitely go down in history. Incorrect, they do go down in history. They are called politicians. Of course they will. They are in our history books as presidents and senators. Well someone committing genocide, someone who kills themselves and tries to go down in history for example with 9-11, are successful. Of course they will, because they are all corporations and politicians. This is the way. It's like trying to find God. He's so good at what he does you'll never know who he is. And the best results of law enforcement and national security are the efforts that prevent things from happening in the first place, but they tend not to be newsworthy. There's an issue of Batman where Penguin figures out a brilliant scheme to be richer than he ever imagined then gets bored and leaks clues to Batman because it's no fun when no one knows how brilliant his scheme is. Feels like there's a bell curve for success and whether you go down in history. I'm sure there's an end on the spectrum where people fail at crime so hard that they fail to commit crime. They never caught the person who masterminded the Great Train robbery in 1963. I always think this when I watch the Bank Robbery Act style videos on YouTube. Hate to break it to you but the Marcos family seems to have come out on top. For now anyway. What do you mean? Most rulers, politicians, saints and other various religious figures are all well known to history. Ed Kemper's quote, something about all the FBI's knowledge of serial killers only coming from the ones they've caught. Well, not for the crime reasons but because of what successful and rich entrepreneurs they were. When you do things right, people won't be sure you've done anything at all. Like corrupt politicians or corrupt religious leaders. We can also figure a private company knowingly polluting the source of water for half the planet and then getting praise for donations. They did for the cancer they caused that is just an excuse to avoid taxes to get more money to repeat the cycle on a higher scale. Now you're probably thinking of a random Robin Hood. You will never know who the best spies in history were, because if you've heard of them then they weren't the best. I don't know. There are plenty of politicians out there reaping the benefits of their crimes. That's because the most well-known criminals are often the ones who get caught. When a criminal does something big it's difficult not to get caught, and there are rare exceptions like Jack the Ripper or the Zodiac Killer and that's because they left evidence on purpose and managed to avoid getting caught while also being on the radar. It is extremely difficult to do so especially in the modern day. I always wondered if some scheme L like they tried in office space was ever done to the point where they ran it for a while, made a lot of money, and then shut it down without anybody knowing it. I guess unless somebody gets really old and decides to write a book. We will never know if somebody was successful like that.